Hi everybody, this is the Investing Teacher, high school science teacher, teaching others how to invest. In this video I want to go over a very simplified strategy using the wheel and selling options that only involves one ETF. If you've seen any of my previous videos, I do a lot of different positions, a lot of different stocks, I go in and out of it a lot. But I just wanted for some of the beginner slash intermediate um, option traders to consider this one fund and this one simple strategy that will help you get pretty similar returns to what I'm getting. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff definitely helps out the channel. And let's get right to it. Alright everybody, uh, this is going to be a simple wheel strategy with just one ETF. The name of the ETF is called TNA. So what we're going to do is sell a cash secured put on TNA. That's a triple leveraged small cap blend fund. The strike will earn 1% a week. So I'm making this video on Easter Sunday. If you go to the next Friday at 4.09, the proper strike would be 83. Right now the ETF is at 93. And the delta is 0.17. So there is a $10 difference in the strikes in a week. This is a highly leveraged fund, but $10, I think, is a pretty adequate cushion for just a week. And your delta is 0.17, which means the approximate percent chance it goes worthless would be 100 minus the 17, or about 83%. So pretty good odds that you'll earn your 1% a week. Now, if you do get assigned, you're going to sell a covered call, at least at the cost basis, or 1% a week, whichever is higher. So let's say this week stock plummets and it goes down to 80. At this case, you're going to look back at the 83 strike for the following week and sell a covered call at least at 83. But there's a good chance that the 1% a week would be a higher number. It might be 85, 86. So in this case, you're going to be collecting some of the gain from the capital appreciation as well. So whatever is higher, cost basis or 1%. Sometimes you may not get the 1% in that particular week. If the stock plummets to say 70, you could still do it at the cost basis. You'll get some premium for it. So let's say I was assigned on 96. I could sell a covered call at 99 for 409. I'll go over the numbers later. When this gets called, then turn the wheel again, just like you do if you sell a cash cure put first, if you're able to get the shares, then you sell a covered call. If you have to sell your shares at the new strike price, you'll have your money back in your account. And then turn the wheel, do the cash secured put side again. Now, with your premiums, to keep it simple, you could just buy shares of it. Okay, So you're going to be collecting premiums. You can do whatever you want with those premiums, but I think collecting shares might be a valuable long-term strategy on this one. If you do eventually get 100 shares using these premiums, then you can sell a covered call. And suddenly that's all, quote unquote, free money because this was money that you got from the premiums they were doing in the previous time. This could take about a year and a half to two years possibly to get 100 shares if you're only doing one position. But it's something, right? No rolling, no early buy to close. Just let it go. I'm trying to keep it a really simple strategy here where you're just able to collect your premiums and not overthink what's happening, okay? So here's a little bit about TNA. It's a Direction Daily Small Cap Bull 3 times share ETF. So it's triple leverage. That does make it a bit risky. This is not necessarily for the faint of heart here. It does move quite a bit. If you look at the TNA stock, this is the last five years. From the downturn in 2020 to now, it's a 488% gain, which is very good. But it does level from 2017 to 2019. There was essentially no gain at all. And then from the peak at 18 down to the trough of 20, you would have lost 87%. So, again, not for the faint of heart. But if we're just trying to scalp those 1% a week premiums, this could be a reasonable way to go. The reason why is when you look at the strikes. So, 9304 is the current share price. If you go all the way to 83, you'll receive $87 per position. 87 by 83 is a little bit more than 1%. Here you're going to be getting 1.06% return in one week time. The stock does have to drop quite a bit. Even if it gets lower than 83, you're still at a net gain because of the extra premiums. You can go down to about 81.50. 
Here are the option chains for TNA. Again, stocks at 93.07. We're looking at the April 09 puts. Go down to 83. You have 10.8% downside protection. The last bill was 82, or pretty much 1% return. 83% chance that it's going to expire worthless. And you do have a little bit of volume and um, open interest, which means that there's a good chance you should be receiving pretty close to that bid price, possibly even more. The mid price was 0.92. So there's a good chance you might get maybe 0.85 or something like that. If you get it at the bid price, your cost essentially is 82.18 because you do the 83 minus 82 cents. And then the stock could go down to 82.19 in that week and you still earn a very slight profit. On the covered call side, Right now we're at 93. Let's say that you were assigned and you did this strategy a week ago. You could go all the way to the 99, which is $6 more, a 6% increase that you would receive if you were um, getting the strike at that price. So get your 1% a week return, 70% chance that it um, won't get to that price, but there's a 30% chance that it would. And in this case, you kind of want the 30% because you're going to be gaining the extra capital appreciation from the 96 to the 99. So overall, it could be a good strategy. I have to pick 1% because I think it's a pretty reasonable amount that you could go with. And you could obviously pick different strike prices, different percents that you want. But 1% a week, very happy with those returns. You're not going to always get the 1% a week, but it could be a very useful strategy. All right, everybody, so if this strategy might be helpful to you, please leave a comment down below. I'll definitely mention any other particular ETFs that you might be wheeling or doing options trades on. If you would like more specific trades, I give out two to three every day. With individual help, please consider joining my Patreon group. Uh, you'll actually be free for all of April. You can test it out, and 20 bucks, get two trades a day. You could easily make your money back on it if you have a relatively big account. So again, I'm the investing teacher, high school science teacher, teaching others how to invest. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be nice, everybody. Have a great day, and have a good one.